Hello, several of you have asked to see a video on our oral surgery instrumentation. Now this is not periodontal surgery instrumentation, this is oral surgery, meaning tooth extraction and grafting. Well, this is our sterilized surgical tray and these are the sterilized surgical instruments and the, the materials that we use. So what are those instruments? A 15 barred Parker with a blade handle, a 12B surgical blade, again bar barred Parker in a surgical handle. This is a bone file. It's a large bone file for smoothing the bone after you've extracted a tooth. These are crossbar elevators. There's one this way and one this way. If you're extracting an upper right third molar, you want this one. If you're extracting an upper left third molar, you want that one. How would you like to get CE credit while watching this training video? I know you would. Great news. You can do it. All you have to do is click the link in the description below at dentistrymasterclasses.com. It only costs $20 per month. And right now you can join for 99 cents. Do not miss this deal of a lifetime. This is a handy little elevator. It's a pointed tip. And so sometimes if I'm having a hard time removing a tooth, I'll actually drill a hole into the tooth and place this tip in there. Now what I do with this, I go in and with my sandpaper disc, cut these edges off so it's perfectly cylindrical. And it's easier to put in that hole. And it's wonderful for a maxillary third molar that is really impacted. You can just drill a hole with a 330 straight shank burr into the tooth and put that elevator in there and just lift it right out. This is a curette. This has a tip with cutting blade so you can, it's good for removing tissue between teeth. This is a 301 elevator. This is a, you can't live without this. This is fantastic for elevating roots or elevating a, a tooth. This is a larger version of that a E44C elevator. Then this is just a periodontal elevator, reflecting the periodontium. Rongiers, we've got one larger size and one smaller. I usually just have the larger size on the surgical tray. Then this is a large spoon. I want the spoon part of the instrument to be very large so you can curette out sockets. Now you wanna be careful about curetting in the mandibular molar area because you don't want to take a chance on damaging the inferior alveolar nerve. It's especially true in the third molar area and especially if they're impacted third molars. But I want this to be a large spoon, not a small spoon. Then I normally use 3-0 or 4-0 gut suture in oral surgery if I'm extracting teeth or grafting. Just a mirror, cheek retractor, cotton pliers, now these are tissue pliers or tissue forceps and you see it's got, this one has got the little teeth on the tip of it for grasping tissue. This one doesn't have any teeth and this is good for grasping suture or different things. Hemostats, this is for suturing. Scissors, for cutting tissue or cutting suture. Another pair of scissors with a long handle, kind of curved at the end for cutting suture. And then these are my extraction forceps, and I'll go through them one by one. Hugh Freedy 150, I use this for extracting maxillary teeth. You can extract any maxillary tooth with a 150. This is a 151A. You can extract any mandibular tooth with a 151. Now I use a cow horn, a 23 oftentimes, for extracting mandibular molars because you can you can put these beaks between the roots and just squeeze it and kind of lift it up a little bit and just with a little luxation you can oftentimes lift that tooth straight up if you're not replacing it with an implant you can luxate it to the facial side this is a really handy instrument the FX13 for extracting anterior teeth. It's like a bird's beak and you just lower anterior teeth or upper anterior teeth. It's really good for that. This is sort of a, 
the same instrument with a different handle of 64 and it's very good for extracting anterior teeth you can unscrew them this is a 65 it's got these long thin beaks and it's very good if you have a tooth that has say a broken root and you've got to go up subalveolar crest and unscrew those roots this is good for getting something small because these beaks are thin and long this is a 42 and a 79 these are like a 150 and a 151 just a little different design and these elevators are very good if you've got a little root tip or a little piece of a tooth down in a socket you can place one goes this way and one goes this way and you can elevate they're very handy for elevating those little tips these are pluggers and I use this to plug graft material into sockets they're different sizes so that's our surgical tray that's the dental minute these techniques work and they work every time